Hey everybody, welcome back to another Type R Tweaks video. Uh, today's video, we're going to attempt, and I say that with a screwed up face, uh, we're going to attempt to fix a little bit of paintwork. Um, so we've got intake coming up, uh, which is a kind of modified uh, car meet up at Knock Hill this weekend, uh, 16th of October. So yeah, I just want to turn up the front a little bit, just give it a little bit of a freshen up. The bumper itself probably needs a full strip down, full respray, but I'm looking to just try and do a local repair uh, to a piece of paint that's come off. 100% uh, my fault. Uh, one of those where you think it's a little bug on the front of the car, so you put the pressure washer to it and it just flicked a pile of paint off. So I don't know if that was paint mark that's been done before or too aggressive with the, the power washer. So I'm going to attempt to to fix that. It's a bit of a rattle can job, but hopefully it's something that will tide me over um, before I get the whole thing uh, resprayed. So I'm going to walk you through the process that I'm going to do. Probably 100% wrong. Uh, I've looked up a few videos and a few th uh, things to, to, to guide me. So I'm going to give it an attempt, see how it looks. If not, I'll be going up with a patchy car up to intake. So, yep. Uh, if any, I don't know if anybody's seen my my previous handiwork with some paint back calipers um, now they were done about a year ago um, so I'm going to put it down to road conditions and all that but the reality is it's probably a poor paint job uh, so yeah that's my uh, previous work and we'll see how we get on with this fingers crossed so it's really recommended that you, you're in a kind of warm, dry environment um, that's dust free. So I'm deciding to do it in a, a damp garage that's a bit dusty and it's only about 10 degrees. So let's see how that works out for the paint. So with the number plate away, I'm just going to give this a clean with pretty much just soapy water uh, and a cloth um, just to try and clean up this wee bit before I start to look at uh, sand in this area down. To be fair, it's probably needing a clean behind there. That's probably never been off. So I'm going with uh, 800 grit uh, wet and dry just to kind of focus on this area here. Um, we'll see how that goes. So the main thing is just make sure there's always a kind of lubricant layer between that and the sandpaper. And just to alternate the motions between back forward and up and down, just to make sure you can get as smooth a surface as possible. So that's me kind of sanding it down. It's really smooth to touch, no real bumps or edges or anything from the, the paint. Um, so I'm going to give that a clean down with sort of some alcohol uh, cleaner, just to kind of prep the surface as much as I can. Then I'm going to get the, get this area all masked off, ready for a bit of primer and some paint. So I've prepped the area down, got the, the area masked off for, um, for the area that I need to, I want to cover. Um, sanded it all down and I've, I've actually put some sort of alcohol cleaner on it as well just to clean the surface so we'll get some primer on here uh, before applying a uh, we'll put a few coats of primer on before we apply a base coat and see how that looks so we've got a coat on that, that coat's now dried I've left it about sort of 12 to 15 minutes there um, so I'm just going to apply another coat now with the primer See how that goes. Again, just letting it dry, so 12 to 15 minutes. Let's see how that looks. So that's the primer all set. Um, I mean, when you do it, when you feel it, there's a little bit of roughness to it. It's not 100% smooth. 
Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to just uh, some 1200 grit uh, wet sand this area just to kind of give it a little bit, smooth it off a little bit um, before applying the, the first coat of paint. So here goes. So I supplied, uh, just put some kind of lubricant onto the both the car and the paper just to give it a little rub down. We'll see how that goes. So there I was uh, wet sanded down after the primer and then the first coat, um, the first, I suppose the first paint coat was uh, applied and that's it now dry so it's ready for the second coat. So that's all the painting done. Um, probably put about, I ended up putting about three coats on it. And you can see that mark's completely gone. What I'm going to do is just going to sort of drive the car a little bit further into the garage and just leave it overnight uh, before applying any clear coat. Um, I'm going to give it a little buff down with 1200 grit again prior to prior to putting the clear coat on. Uh, and then hopefully when we strip it all back, put the number plate and that back on, we should see how, how it's all going to look. So, didn't quite go to plan. Um, the patchwork itself was okay, but just getting it blended with the rest of the bumper um, was it didn't quite turn out to how I wanted it to, um, or how I thought. Uh, I think I maybe probably should have buffed away a little bit more paint, uh, maybe applied a little bit too much. Uh, primer and paint so I've just got a little bit of thickness difference between the original bumper paint and this um, but generally from a bit of a distance you don't really notice it uh, versus the big sort of patch of missing paint that I had before um, certainly I learned a few things doing this which is I suppose the whole point uh, the plan is to get the bumper fully resprayed anyway but it gave me an idea if I wanted to do any other local repairs maybe some do's and don'ts um, but here it is um, in the kind of shitty garage lighting. So you would look at that and think that looks not too bad uh, versus what we had before. I'll just put a little picture up of what it was like before. Um, so yeah, generally under the, this sort of lighting looks okay. But if I put on a bit of an inspection light, you could see this kind of line here and here. So that was that area that we we, we kind of done there. So it, it, it's not totally blended in, but hey ho, it's better than a, better than the black or the kind of patchy paint that I had on previously, uh, or the damaged paint that I had on. So yeah, it'll get me through uh, this kind of car meet anyway, but I think I definitely need to get this stripped back and, and get a full respray done. So thanks everybody for staying out to the end of this video. Um, hopefully you've learnt something, uh, maybe learnt how not to do it, um, or even maybe gave you a bit of confidence to, to do it yourself. Uh, but maybe think about your uh, the preparation of the area, how much primer and paint you want to apply, um, you know, for tackling any areas of your car. But yeah, I've got a few other bits I would want to do at the bumper. Again, just to build up a little bit more of my own confidence for doing paint repairs or touch-ups in the future. Um, so, a little bit of a fail this one, but I think I've learnt quite a bit. Which is, uh, which is the whole reason I do things to the car, is just to learn a little bit more all the time. So, yeah, thanks again for sticking, sticking with it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. We're up to about 314 subscribers. So trying to get up to 350, that'd be really good. Um, yeah, and stick a, a comment. If there's any advice you can give me uh, on the comments, drop a comment on here. Uh, that would be really appreciated as well. So until the next video, catch you all later.